to the both players. Overwhelmed ba kayo sa grabbing game nito? Yeah. First of all, the hype before the game was... I've been here for six years, including my two years that I sat out. Closer to the microphone. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the intensity of this game, the hype, from even before the game, even the whole week, actually. When we were up against Lasal, I don't think anyone was thinking about that game. Everyone was thinking about it. Uh, they consider this the championship game for last place. So the the intensity of the game, the hype. Uh, we were ready for this. We knew that everyone was gonna be there. Our friends, supporters, even the doubters were here actually. So it's funny because finally they see something in us now. You know, we can perform even even through the zero six start. Um to be honest, uh, I actually kind of felt a little bit disrespected and insulted that all the hype was coming to this game when it was just two winless teams going at it. And it took that to bring out all of the UP crowd. And I just wish that it was kind of, it would be like that. It would be like that. The environment would be like that. It would feel like uh, at least an even matchup in terms of fan support in the gym. Because uh, that definitely gave us such a big boost, and I know it just provided the energy for us to sustain up until the fourth quarter, even when Adamson was going on a run in the end. Mike, may I know by special preparation, I mean, you know, by being an organizer, the day of one year, you have to do national. Actually, sorry, na lang din siguro. Ang iba din jumpa na lang eh, but then. As a team, we prepared for this game. I think we prepared for this game more than the other games. I mean, it's not an excuse for the other games. Nah, we lost by a lot. But then this game was just, we really wanted this game. And we really felt that this is the game that we can actually get a win. Surprise ka ba na break, pa career high performance mo? I'm sorry? Surprise ka ba sa naging performance mo? Career high mo, ako di just play. Oh, medyo kasi nagulat ako it happened with a win pa. So it, it makes it sweeter. If it, if it happened with a loss, eh, parang, I'm not gonna be here right now. So, sorry na lang din. And I think nagulat ako because he also scored 24. So, and, so medyo nagulat ako dun. But then he was he was hustling. A lot of his points were, came off offensive rebound. So I think he rubbed off his energy for all of us. We're lucky to have him play like that today. Thanks, man. Uh, Mikey, okay, uh, uh, going to this game, uh, galing kayo sa 27 game, yeah. using streak, tapos lalaro, lumaro kayo na walang head coach, yeah. wala rin yung si Dario dahil nasa yeah, yeah, yeah. Dubai. So, paano yung, uh, yung, yung atmosphere yung yeah. sa loob ng team going to this game? Uh, we wanted to win this game for a lot of people. First of all, the, the managers who are here for the, it's their first season here. Uh, boss Dan, Boss Peter, Boss Renan, Boss Taipan. And actually, before the game, we went out, uh, Senator Angara donated flat screen TV. We can finally view games because oh, we TV that. And then uh, yesterday, they gave us new shoes to wear today. So a lot of motivation. And uh, concerning Coach Ray, uh, he was with us past two practices. He wasn't with us against Lasal, but then he told us that to win this game, it will mean a lot to him. Even if he wasn't here, it meant a lot. Of course, to our assistant coaches na, who were pushed into the limelight like that. Because it's not Coach Ryan. But yeah, um, I think they really, they really composed today. Mikey, what are the points for uh, we'll tweet it. We'll tweet about it. Yeah. We'll tell you guys to join us. All the, all the supporters, the doubters, <laughs> classmates, teachers, that 27 game losing streak. <laughs> this was my first win in since 2009. And you have? Yeah, this is my first you have win since 2009. So it's a big thing for me. It, as, as pathetic as it sounds, sarap na sarap manalo. Kaya nung mas masaya for you yung nangalap kayo sa Lasal 
2009 against Lasal, that was a whole different story because Green Hills away in high school. So that was a different story. May ano dun may ni mga kalit sa kanila pero you know, sure they wanted to prove something. Uh, mas 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 masarap yon, but then this is really big because it's championship game. So talagang if if we lost this game, I don't know what will happen. I really don't know what will happen. So we really put the mind now. We're gonna win this game. Sabi nga ng managers before yesterday. Oh, Thursday we had dinner with the manager. They said to just come out confident because we can grab this win. No, they finally told us to win. Yeah. And a lot of the times it was just like play hard, play hard. Okay, then play hard. Do your best. Mayon talagang we have to win. We have to win. So in our mind, that talagang we had that sense of urgency. Na kailangan natin manalo. And we when we had that big lead, talagang everyone was just. Maintain, maintain, maintain. We have to win. Ano yung sinabi sa inyo ng coaches when Adamson cut the lead to 10 points? Nag-press sila eh. And that was bad for us. We shouldn't have thrown the ball that many times. But then we stayed composed. The coaches stayed composed. It's sad. Hindi gusto na natulungan that stretch. Actually, nakalap nga ako na eh. Before ako nag-cramps. So... Good naman, naging composed naman si na... It was big, si Ensoy, si Kyles, Mark Corwena was the stabilizer today. So it was really a, a team effort, real lang naman kaming dalawa. Jr., how can you describe the feeling of being a winner? Um, <laughs> uh, to be a winner again. Okay, well, the, I guess the last time I felt a UF win was back in my rookie year against UE, and I didn't even touch the court that, that game. And I mean, I still felt the win, of course, because, you know, the team wins a team win. But, I mean, today it was just really, it was overwhelming. It was overwhelming, especially with the, all the fans out there. And um, um, just with looking down on the bench with every play we make, every basket scored, just looking at the guys on the bench having so much fun and, and providing us with the energy on the court. It just meant so much, and um, I just wanted that feeling. I, I wanted to keep that feeling. I mean, right now, I wish kind of that it went, it, that the feeling would have lasted longer. Of course, I don't wish it went to overtime or something. It was kind of scary, but maybe. But then for both of us, it felt good that even though we were the one, you know, scoring, everyone was yeah. thinking about the win, even us. Yeah, it was all about the team today. We really wanted to win. Everyone was, no one was complaining. It's a team. It's really a team effort for us. Kami lang ina ang shoot, but then, then at the day, if not for the other ten guys, we wouldn't win this. And there's a lot of things that that you can't see on the stat sheet that come from Mark Juana and Mariah Jindrich and all their hustle points and their tip outs on the loose balls. You got to give a lot of the credit to them, and they—they they actually, I feel like they should be in here. And the energy on the bench. And the energy on the bench as well. The bench guys were huge today. How many more wins for this season? Uh, no, no more wins. According to <laughs> Coach Ray, two more. Yeah. So we'll try our best. I hope, hopefully, we gain confidence, even if, lalo na ngayon championship to. Hopefully, we gain confidence to our next game. I don't know who we're up against, but then right now, we on fire muna tayo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you saw that. Uh, you saw uh, jumping around. He told us if we won, we'd get incentive. So, no, medyo at the start na pasama kasi nagmamadali kami lahat parang gusto namin lahat tambakan na. But then, you know, we stay composed. They had the big run, give it to Adams, and then they really, they were so close. Down 10 with four minutes to go is very doable, so I'm just happy we stayed composed. How significant is this win for the team? After 27 losses, we finally got one. I think it's more significant for the communities, actually. I mean, as a team, we went through so much in the summertime um, since way back in like December, January, and that's again that's why I feel like it was a little bit insulting and, and disrespectful. Where there's so much to be hype on this game. Because we worked so hard for this season, and we just couldn't get it going, I guess, until today. And um, this this win is just so much. It means I know it means a lot to the UP community, and um, I know they've been struggling trying to support us even through the big big blows that we put them through with like the 27 in a row. Um, this just really good goes out to them. Um, big thank you for coming out to the game. Thank you. Most thank you,
Meron daw. <laughs> uh, we can't do it. Uh, <laughs> pero boss Dan pala mi yun. So. Yeah. Siya yung... We'll see at the bonfire. Yeah. Yeah. Punta kayo lahat. <laughs> Six o'clock. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the easiest way out is to say no. We don't have the funds. Kaya kami natatalo lagi. But then at the end of the day, it's basketball. We have to find ways to win. Daming tao kanina, alam nilang may chance kami manalo eh. <laughs> They're usually walang tao. And I'm still happy that they came out to support. And finally, at least nabigay naman namin yung gusto nila. Kaya sana naman umuwi sila, malungkot na naman. Um, okay, I guess in terms of not having enough funds, you guys, I guess you guys would, could see like what the other schools have being happily funded and stuff. But I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like what Mikey said, you know, we're the ones on the court, and we're the team that the managers put together for coach to handle and deliver for the UB community. So. It's not really just the funds. It's not really. It's not just the players. It's not just the coaches. It's really a combination of things. A combination of little things that are missing here and there that kind of put us in the hole in the first place. But I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we won today, so you can't really say too much about um, the missing funds and stuff. But I know right now our gym is still being renovated, so we haven't even been able to practice in UP since the beginning of the summer. Our weight room is still being renovated, so we haven't been able to lift weights for the past month or so. Even when we were able to lift weights, we were able to do everything that Coach wanted. Um, it's just it's just a bunch of things that you go through when you go to UP, and that's one of the things that makes being part of this community, being part of this culture, so much more special. It's because you know what the other guys have, you know what the other teams have, and when you see when you go to practice and. You, you kind of just giggle, you kind of just laugh at, oh, okay, well, we already know that this is what we're given, even though it's so small, but it's what we have what we have to do with it to transform it into something beautiful, into something good, like what you guys saw on the court earlier. Are there any more questions? One more. Ah, uh, question. Napansin nyo ba sa mga hadal nyo na nandun si Bong Hawkins? Oh, yeah, he's really a coach. Yeah. He's really there. Uh, the previous games, the last... First five games, he was sitting behind the bench when Coach Ray was there. But then, I think today and against Lasalle, he was on the bench. I think we needed an extra, you know, Bong Hawkins. So, magiging ka talaga. Especially if you're one of the big men, because uh, he was an undersized big along with Coach Posh when they were playing. And uh, when he talks to like with me, Mark, and the other bigs like Jello Vito, uh, we really listen and we kind of it, he lights a fire under our butt. So really good work, work. So yeah, push bomb. Thanks for being there. Thank you. Right, Bonfire, Sunny Garden, UP. All right, congratulations to my UP.